After installing our script, the next thing that we're going to want to do is create a signup form. So we could do that from scratch, but we could also do it using the member stack component. So let's head over here in our dashboard over to components and then let's hit sign up. And here, what I can do is grab an unstyled one or I can grab one that's got a little bit more flair to it. Let's just go ahead and use this modal, for example. So all we need to do is click copy component. You can see there we're good to go. Let's head back over here into Webflow and open the designer. Then all we need to do is hit paste. And as you can see there, we have our signup form. Make things a bit more simple. I've removed this from the modal and just placed it in the middle of a big section. Everything in MemberStack works using attributes. So for example, if I select this form right here and head over to the settings, I can see that we have data MS form sign up, we have data MS member email, and all of these attributes are available in the dashboard. If we go back over here and click attributes, we can see a full list of them. But if you're using a MemberStack component, you won't need to know as many of these. And another thing that you can do is use the MemberStack Webflow app. If you don't already have the app installed on your site, what you're going to need to do is go to webflow.com slash apps slash detail slash MemberStack. And then you could just click add to site right here. I've already done that, but the next thing it's going to ask you to do is authorize it on your site and then you're good to go. Once you've installed it to your site, all you're going to need to do to open it is go over here to apps, click member stack and click launch. So I've gone ahead and removed all of the attributes from this form right here. So it's the exact same as if you created a form from scratch and I'm going to show you how to add the attributes. Keep in mind over here, you can watch the attributes being added. If you didn't install the app for whatever reason, then you could just manually type these attributes yourself. First, what we're going to want to do is select that form attribute right there, and then we're going to type in sign up. So here we can see forms, form type, sign up. Great. We can see the attribute has been added. Now, email as well. We are going to do a member data input and then email. Same thing with the password. Let's do that. And then this over here is social auth. And I'm not going to cover how to set up social auth in this video, but to make it work with Webflow, all you would need to do is click that button do type social auth button, and then in this case, select Google. So now you know how to create a signup form, both from member stack components and totally from scratch using your own built Webflow components.